Hey everyone, welcome back to another Blender 2.8 beginner tutorial. In this one, we're gonna be creating some low poly vehicles. So this should be a lot of fun. It should be really informative, getting used to hard surface modeling in Blender 2.8. And we'll even finish off with showing how to render our car nicely in Eevee. Also, you might notice I have a new chair, and this is thanks to Ewan Racing. They sent over one of their awesome gaming chairs, and this chair's been super comfortable. I've been using it for the past few weeks, and it's been a huge upgrade over the cheap $70 chair that I had bought off Amazon a few years ago. And I think good seating is really important. If you're going to be spending countless hours at your desktop, you're going to want good seating as you don't want to ruin your back at a young age, and you can even do this. So there'll be a link in the description where you guys can check out the Ewan Racing Chairs. And what I think is the coolest feature about this chair is it really makes you feel sort of like Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars. <laughs> Join me in the Blender community and together we can rule the universe. And I'm excited to announce that this video is sponsored by our very own fellow Blender instructor, Zach Reinhardt from CG Boost. Zach has just recently finished a complete in-depth Blender 2.8 tutorial course suitable for absolute beginners. So if you don't know anything about 3D or Blender, it's a great way to start learning. This in-depth course contains 15 hours of premium content split into nice, short, easy to digest videos. And with it, you'll learn all the important principles, techniques, and workflows to create a full 3D animated scene from scratch. The course actually has a 4.9 rating out of 5 stars with over 100 reviews and on top of that, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. And I have a special offer for the first 50 users to sign up with the link in the description. You guys will get 20% off of the course and when you sign up with that link in the description below, you're also supporting me as well as Zach in creating more high quality Blender tutorial content. So as I mentioned in this Blender 2.8 tutorial, we're going to be creating some low poly vehicles. In fact, we're going to be creating a low poly sports car. In this tutorial series, we're going to go over the complete steps necessary to create something like this from scratch, starting with the default cube and making an awesome looking low poly model like this, suitable for low poly renders, game engine work and animations, all kinds of stuff. And it's a great way to get comfortable modeling in Blender 2.8. So I hope you guys are excited to create some cool low poly vehicles. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So let's get started right off the bat in Blender 2.8. We're just gonna open up a new default scene here. And before I get started, I like to use a background image as reference as you're gonna get a lot more accurate results quicker. If you just use a reference image for a car when you're modeling, then trying to do it all from memory. You can open up any sort of background image you want if you wanna create sort of a different style of car or something, that's really cool. And in Blender 2.8, we have a new option for importing background images. So I'm just gonna hit three in my number pad and then shift A and then under the add menu here, we can go into image and then choose background. Here we can open up any image we'd like. And this is just a basic, basic car image. I'm gonna hit Z and go into wireframe mode so we can see our whole background image there. And it's just a basic sedan car, kind of a cool looking car model. Again, you guys can use any sort of car you want, but this is gonna be the outline of the one we're modeling today. And we're gonna use our default cube. So I'm just gonna hit G and kind of move my cube right over the center of the car here. And then I'm going to tab into edit mode. I'll hit seven to go into top view and then go control R and click twice to put a cut straight down the center of our cube. Now I'm going to grab this face along the edge here. You can either grab the face right here or hit three on your keyboard and this will allow you to switch to face select mode. And then I'm just gonna hit X and delete vertices. This will delete half of our cube there. And if I go over to our modifiers tab here, I'm going to add in a mirror modifier to mirror the cube on the other side. So all we have to do is model half the car and the other half will automatically be handled with our awesome mirror modifier. So go add modifier, mirror, and you can see we right away have the other half of that cube there. If I hit Z and go into solid view here, if I edit something on this side of the cube, it does it on both sides. Now the only option I need to change in the mirror modifier here is I wanna enable clipping. So go ahead and choose clipping right there. And now I can make sure I'm in edit mode by hitting tab hit A to select all of our mesh, and then hit three to jump back into our right side view here. Here I'm gonna scale down our cube with S and move it just to the front end of our car here, towards the hood. I'm gonna start off by just sort of modeling the car from the bottom up. That's why I'm starting out over by the hood here. I'm just gonna make sure that I have the cube sort of placed right around where the windshield should start there, and then just hit S to kind of scale it up a little bit more. Now I'm gonna grab just that face on the end there, go back into right view, and hit E to extrude the mesh out again. So we're making a nice longer mesh here. 
and I'm going to pull this all the way out to about the start of the tire there. So if I jump into side view here now and move around using my middle mouse button, you can see that we have a rectangle form in here. And I'm going to hit Z and solid view so we can kind of see what this is looking like. And then up here, I'm going to choose the show x-ray. So this will allow us to still see our background, but we have a little bit more mesh visible. Hitting three to go back into side view, I'm going to continue extruding out our cube here. So I'm going to hit E and extrude it one more time. And this time I'm going right towards the center of the tire. And then I'll hit E and extrude it out again. Now I'm going to go right to the edge of the tire here again, just like I did on this side. But you can see that the back end of the car should come up a little bit here. So I could either grab edge select here or just hit two on my number pad to switch to the edge select. And I'm going to grab that bottom edge there, go back into side view, and then hit G and Z to grab it just along the Z axis. And we'll pull it up to be right around where the bottom of the car there should be. Perfect. Now I'll go back to face select mode by either clicking there or hitting three in my number pad, grabbing that face, and then extruding it out to follow out to the end of our car here it is where it comes to an end. And you can see we have a little bit of a flare in the back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit G, kind of move that face up a little bit, and then I'll hit E one more time to extrude it out to the end of sort of this flare in the back of the car here, and then hit G to pull it up. So we kind of are modeling that flare that you see right there, and it looks kind of cool. And then I can just hit E one more time and scale this along the Z, so S and Z to scale along the Z. And then I'll pull it down to kind of fit the last bit of our car right there. So if you're ever confused about what sort of key presses I'm using, you can see down here I have all the key presses being registered, and you can just keep your eye there. If I don't mention what I was pressing, it will be visible right there. So now let's go ahead and finish out the front end of the car. I'm going to grab the front face here on our long rectangle. I'll hit three to jump into right view again. Now instead of using the G key to move your faces around, you can always grab the gimbal here, and this allows you to move it by using handles, which is a little bit more comfortable maybe for some people. And uh, so I'm just going to place this right over the edge of our tire here, just like we did at the back end of the car here. And then I'll hit E and extrude it out right to the center of the tire. And then I'll hit E and extrude it out right beyond the tire. And now I can just extrude it out to right about the end of the car here. I'll just switch to edge select mode by hitting two, grab that top face and pull it down using our handle here. We can pull it down to fit our background image. Same thing with this edge here. I'm gonna grab that edge, jump back to the side view here and pull it down. And you can see we have a nice shape already of our car. There we have the outline of the bottom half of our car. Now let's go ahead and jump to top view by hitting seven. And you can see that our car is a little bit narrow for my liking. I'm just gonna grab everything and then pull out along the x-axis here until we have about the right thickness for our car. Um, somewhere right around there looks like a decent thickness. And there we have it. So now I'm going to extrude out the top end of our car here. So switching to face select mode, we're going to grab every face that is in line with the windshield here. So I'm grabbing this face, holding shift, and then grabbing these next two faces. All the way back to there looks about right. Yep, that will work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit E and extrude them upwards all the way to the top of that windshield. Just clicking as soon as we hit the peak of it right there. And now I can jump back to edge select mode, grab this edge, and we'll pull it right on over to the end of our windshield here. Same thing with some of these. We're going to kind of line them up to be right in line with our windshield. Now, what you might find easier than instead of jumping back and forth between views here, every time you need to grab an edge and then jump back to right view, maybe this gets a little confusing for you. What you might find easier is you can split your window by grabbing in the top corner here and pulling over. And if I just hit N to close off our properties tab there, we can clear that out. What you can do is you can leave this viewport in top view, for example, and then edit over here. So for example, I want to pull this edge down now. I'm going to pull it down to be right about the back of the car. And then you want to select this edge. You can just select it right over here and then move it in this viewport. So it makes it really handy for not having to switch views if you don't want to. And then I'm just moving around here with my middle mouse button and shift. And this might be considered a more efficient way of working. So you're not jumping around your viewport as frequently. So I kind of recommend you guys try it out and see if you like it. So now I'm going to grab this edge right here. So grab that edge right there. You can see it's a little hard to select even in top view. 
And sitting in side view here then, I'm gonna get G, and I'm just gonna hit G and pull that edge down right about there. So now we have the nice top hood section of our vehicle is looking just fine. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the wheel rims here a little bit. So I'm gonna go with Control R, and we can put a cut all the way along the horizontal axis of our vehicle here. So I'm just gonna click it and slide it until the vertices here are on top of our wheel, just about there. If you wanna reposition a little bit, you can do that by double tapping G. And we'll just position it so it's right around there at the top of our vehicle. And now I'm gonna go Control R and do one more cut and put this right along this black rim that you see along here on our vehicle as well. Perfect. So now that we have those two cuts, I can hit one or click the bop option right here to switch to vertices select, and we can start moving around these vertices. Because I'm gonna be in this view for a little while now, I'll go ahead and close off this window as I'm just gonna work in one window at the moment. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all these vertices and sort of make a basic shape of a wheel rim around our car here. Making a nice basic circular shape around each wheel. We'll do this for the front as well. And for this area, we have two vertices that we wanna select. So grabbing both of those by just hitting B and box selecting it, we can pull those back a little bit there, something like that. And now we'll jump to the front of the car and do the same thing. And now that we have the side view of our mesh sort of modeled out, we're gonna go ahead and jump back to top view. And I'm gonna grab everything by hitting A and pull us in just a little bit more narrow because what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab every face along the side here by double tapping A to unselect everything and then I can hit C to start selecting things. I'm gonna grab every face except for those wheel rims. So grab everything but those wheel rims there. All along here, except for those four faces on each wheel rim. So you can see we have it there. Go to top view, and if you selected any of these faces, just hit B, and then using your middle mouse button, we can unselect all of those. So we have just the faces on the side here. And I'm gonna go to top view, hit E to extrude, and then we're just gonna pull those out until we have about the right length of a wheel well. Now the whole car might need to be pulled in a little bit just to kind of get the right thickness of a car there. I think that looks about right about there. And now you can see if I jump to side view here that we have some wheel rims on our vehicle and that looks very nice. So now what we can do is we have this extra geometry from extruding that out is I'm gonna switch to edge select mode here. And at times it might be easier to turn off the X-ray mode right here. So just go ahead and click that. And also we don't really need our grid floors. That's just kind of getting in our way and making things hard to see. So what you can do is you can go to the viewport overlays right here and we can just turn off our floor and our X and Y axis to make things a little bit cleaner. And then I also like to change in the viewport settings here by making this drop down. I like to turn on cavity and shadow. And this just kind of makes your edges even easier to see. And it's really nice uh, to have turned on when you're working in low poly. So that makes it just a little nicer. Okay, perfect. So now we can kind of start modeling the corners of our, uh, our car here a little bit. So on top, we want it to come in a little bit. So I'm gonna grab these edges, and pull them in, something like that. Um, we can go ahead and continue this with this face here too. Pull this one back a little bit and this one a little bit as well just kind of giving that right amount of roundness towards the top of the car. Just kind of grabbing every other edge here and moving it so we have about what we're looking for. Just grabbing the handle there to move it nice and straight on the axis. And that's looking already quite a bit better. We'll pull that in a little bit more. And we can pull this one in just to kind of match the uh, keeping kind of nice square geometry here. And now we can kind of round off our hood here a little bit by grabbing some of these edges here and pulling them down. As you can see, the hood was just a little bit squared off there. It's looking better already. And now let's sort of model our headlight. So I'm gonna jump to side view and turn on the x-ray mode here again so we can see what our headlight is supposed to look like. So now I'm gonna grab this edge right here and I'm gonna to go to side view. I'm gonna kind of pull it back to be the headlight here. So I'm just gonna hit G and pull it back a bit as you can see here. Then I'll hit one to switch to vertices select and pull just that top vertice back a bit to kind of give it that angle that we're looking for. Now the front here, I'm gonna grab this bottom vertex here and pull it over a bit just to kind of give some nice angle to those headlights. We can pull this one back a little bit as well. And we're just sort of shaping what we want those headlights to look right now. So I want it to kind of come back here a bit, kind of rounding off that hood there a little bit more and pull that back there as well. We'll pull that face down just a little bit. And once you're pretty happy with the shape 
of your headlight. As you can see, I'm kind of getting there. I might want to pull some of these, these in here just a little bit as well. Something like that. Once you're happy with the shape of your headlight, you can grab the face select, grab that headlight face, and then we're going to hit I to inset just a little bit, and then hit E and extrude it inwards. Something just like that. Very basic. But if I turn off x-ray mode there, you can see we have a nice sort of fancy looking headlight. We can grab both these faces here and just pull these in just a little bit if we want to make those headlights just a little bit bigger. And I think that's looking pretty nice. Maybe tab into edit mode, hit one to go to our vertice select mode, and then hit C to select all those vertices right there. All you guys, make sure you get all, and then pull that out just a little bit. Maybe it's a little too much angle there. It's looking just a little bit better. Hit control R and we'll put one more cut down our car here. Now the reason for this is I can give the hood just a little bit more shape. I'm gonna grab these vertices right across the top there and pull these down just a little bit. So we kind of get that ripple in the hood that looks kind of cool right there as you can see. We can grab the front end of the hood here and pull it outwards just a little bit so we have a little bit of roundedness to our hood. I'm gonna pull this one up a little bit so we have sort of a cooler looking shape of a headlight right there. Something like that is looking very nice. And now I'm gonna work on the front venting of our car here. So I'm gonna grab the face select. We'll grab both these faces, hit control one to jump back to the front view like I did a moment ago. And I'm gonna hit E to extrude and then S to scale down. Now you could inset this, but it would add an extra face in the middle here that we don't want. So that's why I hit E and then scaled instead of insetting. So go ahead and scale it down a little bit more and then we'll extrude it one more time to give a little bit of inlay to our car there. And that's just that nice little center vent there. And the last bit that we wanna do is some of the bottom venting along the bottom end of our car here. So I'm gonna grab the vertices select, grab all of these vertices here, and I'm just gonna double tap G to kind of slide them up our car a little bit to make this edge here a little bigger, because this is where the venting is gonna go. So now I'm just gonna grab the three faces along the front end of our low poly car here, and hit E to extrude and S to scale. We'll scale it down just a little bit there and then hit S and Z to scale along the Z axis a little bit. And now I can hit E and extrude it inwards. Now what I'm gonna do, the only thing I'm gonna do different about this vent is I'm gonna grab this face along the end here and extrude it in even a little bit deeper. This could kind of be those front sort of fog lights or something on a car, if I turn off x-ray mode there. You can see it just looks kind of cool. And now the last thing I wanna do for the front end of our car Let's turn back on x-ray mode there and hit C and select all of the edges along the front of the car here. Making sure that we don't select the edge ones here, I'm gonna use middle mouse button and C to unselect those. And we don't need that one there. And I'm gonna pull out the front end of our car a little bit by pulling that out, just to give it a little bit of that roundedness. And you can see we also wanna select these edges then to pull them out a little bit as well. And now I'll pull that out just to kind of round off the front end of our car there. And you can see we might want to pull back this vertex here. So I'm going to hit one to switch to vertex select, grab that vertex and just pull her back right there. Okay, so next up, I'm going to work on sort of shaping the hood here. So let's grab the faces right here and right here. And uh, we'll grab that one too. And I'm going to pull these inward a bit. We kind of want that angle there as we get from the hood. And we can do the same thing for these sort of fender vertices here, and the corner of the headlight there. Make sure we select all of them in there. If you're having a hard time selecting them all, we can always turn on x-ray mode right there. We'll just pull these in a little bit there, just to kind of round off the corners there. It's looking nice. Grab those faces, one, two, three, and then extrude them inwards, just a little bit to give us that sort of inlaid windshield look. That's perfect right there. So that's perfect for the front end of the car. Now I wanna add a little bit more detail to the side of our car here. So I'm gonna go Control R to add in one more cut. So we can grab the top vertices here just by hitting C and selecting those and pull these up. What I can do now is grab these three faces as well. And this time I'm gonna hit I to inset them just a bit and then we can extrude them inwards. I'm gonna pull them down just a little bit here as well and then extrude them inwards just like we did with the hood. Now we might want to pull these faces inwards just a little bit there. So we have sort of that shape. And that's looking really good. And now I want to kind of work on the side of the door here. So I'm going to switch to edge select mode. We'll hit three to go into our side view and then turn on x-ray mode. And you can see we kind of have this shape here on the car that I kind of want to replicate. So I'm going to hit one, switch into vertice select, grab that vertex and we'll pull it right to that corner there. And then I'm going to pull these vertices here just by hitting box select, grabbing all of them, pull them over right there. 
And now I want to grab these vertices just along there. Whoops, make sure we get the right one there, not you. If you get the wrong one, you can just hit C and middle mouse button to unselect it. And we're going to pull these out a little bit. And this will kind of just give us the faces nice and visible there, if I turn off that, of that shape of the car. Now I want this line here to be a little bit straighter, so I'll pull this vertice up just to keep that nice and straight for the door there. On the back here, we can kind of round off the end of the car here a little bit just by grabbing these vertices and rounding them out a little bit. These faces here maybe could be tucked in just a little bit here if we pull that in. And you can see our car is coming together quite nicely. But I think it's time to give this car some wheels. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay in edit mode and I'm gonna put my cursor right at that point there by shift right clicking to place the cursor. And I'm gonna go shift A and add in a circle. The circle, we can have some settings for it right here. You can see the add circle settings. If you just click that button there to open it up, I'm gonna change it to 16 vertices. And I'm also gonna take the scale down because if I don't take the scale down, it's going to intersect with the uh, mirror modifier here and kind of connect in the middle. We don't want that. All right, now that we have that, I can grab it and pull it out. We'll hit R and 90 along the Y axis by hitting R, 90, and then Y. And if I hit side view here, we can scale that tire up to be approximately the right size. Right around there looks about a good size to me. We might have to kind of adjust our, our fender here a little bit once we have our tire. And I'm just going to hit E and extrude it out along the X axis to give ourselves some nice thickness there. Just pull it out until we have about the proper thickness of a tire. Now I'm gonna grab the rest of the tire here, hit E and scale. I'm gonna scale this down to be the right thickness for our tire. If you hit three in your number pad, you can kind of use that image actually as reference there. And then I'm gonna hit S and X to kind of scale them out because the tire kind of bulges a little bit like that. So we're gonna have a little bit of bulge there. There we have it. And now I'm gonna hit E and extrude again. That's gonna be sort of the rim right there and that's looking pretty fine. Now I'm gonna hit E and scale along just the X axis to pull this in a bit tighter, something like that, E and scale. This is just extruding it in and scaling until we have about a center point about that size. And now I'm gonna hit E and scale along the X axis again to scale it out. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab just that ring there by Alt left clicking it and then hit face. So we have that nice sort of wheel rim. And if you want it to be really detailed, you can get the inside of that wheel rim there as well and face it off. Okay, so now all we have to do is add the spokes that are on our rim here. And to do that, I'm gonna grab face select mode here. I'm gonna grab every other face around the inside of this tire. Jumping around here, there we go. It should be a total of eight. And now I'm gonna hit E to extrude and S to scale. And here's where the magic happens. We just scale those rims down towards the center there. And then I'm gonna pull them inwards a bit. And you can see we have something like this. It's looking pretty good but we want the wheel to kind of come out a little bit further. So all I have to do is grab that center face there of our, on our wheel, hit control plus, and this will allow us to select all the nearby faces. And I'm just gonna hit plus until I have all the inside faces there. And now I can pull this outwards to be right around there. And maybe I'd wanna pull my center face out there a little bit more as well. And you can see there we have a nice looking low poly tire rim. Now you can kind of adjust, like I said, the rim on your car a little bit, grabbing those inside edges and kind of positioning that rim to be a little bit more accurate to where your, your car wheel is. I'm gonna tab into edit mode, hit L to select that tire, shift D to duplicate it. Then I'm just gonna hit G and Y to move that duplicated tire along the Y axis to the back of the car. I'll just line it up right about there. You can see this rim might need to be adjusted a little bit as well. And you can see, ba -ba -bum, we have some tires on our sports car and it's looking mighty fine. If I do say so myself, this can kind of be tucked in at the back. And I'm not gonna really focus on much of the detail in the back here. You could also add your headlights here if you wanted to, but just to keep the video short, we're gonna mainly focus on a front render of our car. And the last thing to do on the modeling of our basic low poly car here, is first off, we can kind of pull in these bottom edges here just a little bit, kind of tuck those in a little bit right there. That looks pretty nice. And of course we need some review mirrors. You can't see behind you without review mirrors. This, this wouldn't be road worthy right now. And now to add in those review mirrors, it's really simple. I'm just gonna grab a face right off our car here, 
hit Shift D, pull it out a little bit here. I'm gonna scale it down along the Y axis, so S and Y to scale it down a bit. And I'm going to just place it right around where we want the, the um, rearview mirror to be coming out of the car here. I'll rotate a little bit and pull it right inside the car and then hit E and extrude it out. Here I'm just gonna grab some of these faces along the edges here and uh, kind of square it off a little bit, you could say. Maybe grab that edge there and round it off a little. Okay, and I'll grab that face there, pull it out to be about the right angle of our headlight. I'll hit E to extrude, and then S to scale it up a bit, and then E to extrude it one more time. And now I'm just going to do a little bit of mesh modeling on this to make it look a little bit better. So we'll scale that back face off a little bit, pull it over there. We want this rear view mirror to be facing our, our driver. So I can just hit L to select that whole loose part, rotate it along the X axis to kind of rotate it up, and then R and Z to rotate along the Z axis. So kind of facing it towards our driver there a little bit more. And now I'm gonna grab that edge right there by hitting two and then selecting that edge, pull it out. We'll grab these edges in the back here, pull them up. Just some basic modeling to quickly come up with what looks like a low poly um, review mirror here. And that already doesn't look too bad. So we can just kind of pull that around a little bit, grab these edges and pull them into the car a little bit more so they are hidden. All right, so there's our finished car model. You can continue tweaking it if you like, but I'm gonna show you guys how to quick render it in EV so you have a nice final result to share. I'm gonna hide our background image there just by selecting it and hiding it. I'll go Shift A, add in a plane, scale it up. We're gonna grab it by hitting G and Z just to be the floor of our car here. It doesn't have to be too big. We can scale it back down a little bit. Go to top view and hit G to kind of center it right over our car though. We'll grab that lamp, we'll delete it, but then we'll go Shift A and add in another light. And this is going to be a sunlight. We're gonna change it from a strength of one to seven and just position it on top of the car. Pointing straight down is all you need to worry about. Now we're gonna to go to our world settings here. I'm gonna open up an HDR for some additional lighting. Click that box right there and choose environment texture and then open up an HDR. I'll link to a cool one from HDR Haven in the description below. Now, if I switch to rendered view here by clicking that button there, you can see that we're rendering in EV and we could have a little bit more shadows on this scene. So with our lamp selected, I'm gonna to go to the lamp settings here, drop down the shadow option and choose contact shadows. This makes it look just a little bit nicer. Now I'm gonna to jump to our EV settings here and we're gonna choose ambient occlusion and screen space reflections. I'm gonna crank up the distance a little on our ambient occlusion here to give it a little bit more blacks. And now I'm gonna give our floor a material as well. New material, just make it nice and dark there and not too reflective. So we're gonna turn a little bit of that specularity down. Maybe give it a little bit less roughness though. So we see just a little bit of a reflection because that's kind of cool. Now let's give our sports car a nice sporty car-like color. So I'm gonna choose a base color here of a nice hot rod red. And I'm just gonna turn the specular down a little bit on it, down to about a 0.4. Now let's give our headlights some color. So I'm gonna go plus on the materials, add a new material there. This one, instead of being principled, we're gonna make an emission shader. So grab emission right there, give it a nice LED-like color blue, and then crank the strength up to about a five. Now I'm gonna tab into edit mode, select that face right there by grabbing the face select, grab that face, and assign our new emission material to it. Now let's go ahead and add some materials to our tires. So I'm gonna tab into edit mode. I'm gonna alt left click that ring right there around the tire, and then I'm gonna hit control plus to increase that selection to the whole bit of the tire there. Now if I hit the plus key here, add in a new material, this one's just gonna be a dark tire material as you might have guessed and we don't want too much specularity on a tire as it's not very reflective it's sort of a rubber material and so we're also going to increase the roughness on this one up to about 8.7 is good and now all we have to do is click assign to see that material being added to our tire there now I want sort of a shiny material for those rims so I'm going to add in a new material I'm going to make this one just a sort of gray material here and I'm going to make it a little less roughness to give it a little bit more shine I'm gonna tab into edit mode, grab that center face and hit control plus a few times just to select everything in the middle there. And I'll hit assign on that new silver material. Maybe make that just a little bit darker, but that looks pretty cool. Now we need a windshield material. So I'm just gonna hit that plus key again. We're gonna make this sort of a nice light blue. I'm gonna tab into edit mode to grab those windshield faces. And of course, our side windows here as well. Grab all of them there and assign that windshield material to it. 
And something else you can do if you want a little bit of transparency on your window here. I didn't do any modeling on the inside, but if you wanted to, you could go ahead and scroll down to here, change the blend mode to be additive here, and you can see through the window a little bit there. And that looks kind of cool. And if you want to see through it even more, you could turn the alpha value here down. Now, of course, we didn't do the back tire there because we're a dummy dumb. So just go ahead and select that rim and assign that to it right there. You might also want to assign your tire material to the inside rim on the car here. So just go ahead and select these faces here and assign that darker tire material to them. So now that you can see that that looks kind of a little bit better. So we'll do the same with the front there. And man, I gotta say, it's a lot of fun working in EV on materials because all the while you're making changes and stuff, it's just looking super cool. So now I want one more gray material for the front end of our car here. So we're just gonna hit that plus key, scroll down and give this sort of a darker material there. Tab it edit mode and we'll grab these edges along here and faces and assign it to it. That new material at the bottom. Actually, I might wanna make this rim there red still cause that's just kinda cool. Or maybe black, ooh yeah. A little bit of definition there. That's kind of cool. And I'll go ahead and assign that color to the ones in the middle there as well. Last but not least, let's add a little bit of color to our review mirror there because it's kind of nice and I like it. So it deserves a little bit of color, a little bit of love and attention. Grab some of those faces there and assign the tire material to it. There we go. A little bit of black on there is cool. Oh, yeah. Give that the glass material. Duh, can't see behind you if you don't have a glass material there. But that is gonna wrap up the tutorial, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, last thing you can do to add a little bit of ka -chow punch to your car here is turn on the bloom. And then of course, you're gonna wanna turn the threshold way up so it's just blooming off of those headlights. But hey, it's kinda cool. Oh, the last final thing to make this kind of a cool render, grab that front tire there, pick your view, and then hit R and Z. And ooh yeah, give those tires a little bit of rotation there. Cow. And there you have it. If you guys want to render it with the background, you can. Otherwise, you can go to film here and choose transparent just so you can see your car only in the render. And I like to turn off the overlays there as well so you can just see what your car is looking like. And yeah, you can make any sort of tweaks now still to the mesh that you want in EV even. So just grabbing some of these edges there, kind of pull those out a little bit. Like, <laughs> so that wraps up this low poly vehicle creation tutorial series in Blender 2.8. Hope you guys have had some fun. And I'd like to again thank Zach from CG Boost for sponsoring this video tutorial. You guys can check out his complete beginner series with the link in the description. It goes into even more depth in this tutorial, all kinds of things like animating and creating a final scene in Blender from beginner to end. So a very nice, elaborate, in-depth course from Zach. And if you guys use that link in the description, you get that discount that I mentioned, as well as support me and Zach on uh, creating more Blender content for you guys. So definitely check that out if you're interested in diving even deeper into low poly and scene creation. That link will be in the description. But that's gonna do it, guys. I also wanna give another shout out to Ewan Racing for sending over their nice chair, making me comfortable as I'm making these video tutorials for you guys. You can also check out their chairs with the link in the description below. Also, if you guys create a cool vehicle like this one, I love seeing your finished creations. So either post it in the comments below or send it over to me on Instagram or Twitter. I always enjoy seeing everything you guys create. You guys are super creative, but that's gonna do it. And I'll see you guys all in a future video tutorial. Bye-bye.